Hello and welcome back to a new episode of the Fluke Friday. I think it's number 23 by now. And we have the Fluke 110, 110 and the 110 plus. No, it's not the broken record. This is actually what happened. That Fluke confuses us with that time number is clear by now. Like the 21 and the 23 are different from the 25 and the 27, but the same from the 70. And some of the 70 series even look like the 170 series. Well, you would almost think they use a monthly bingo to think of their numbers. And there are probably much more examples. But this time, I think someone messed up his bingo card. Well, here we have one of the first 110 series. I think it came uh, around uh, the year 2000. And uh, they made the 110, the 111. I think you saw this already in the other video. And the 112. And to confuse us, they also sold the 111 in Sears only. A little bit lower specs. And that was the 81438. Then around 2006, they started where they left off, but with the new series of the 110, and they started with the 113. I do not have that whole series, but that's why I showed the picture. But I do have the 113. The 114 goes in between. I have the 115. Then we have the 116. I think that was HVAC, it also has temperature and microamps that these don't have. And then the 117 is again from the normal series. But it has also an extra low C function here. So then they have this whole series ready. The new 110 series starting from 113 all the way up to 117. But then when you have a closer look at the 113, it's actually a bit of a weird one. Because... Here is this feed check option that is usually with uh, low C, with low impedance, and then it automatically detects the voltage if it is AC, DC, but with a lower impedance. And that immediately means also that in uh, lower voltage or DC system, this impedance influence really the circuit that you're measuring. So it was kind of a, a silly multimeter to make. It should have been the number 13 in the other series. So I think then they started to look for a solution. They couldn't use the 112 because it already exists. They couldn't use the 111 because they used them already twice. And I think then the old bingo card came on the table and they thought they didn't have the number yet. And they made the 110 here in this series without the automatic low C setting, just the proper multimeter, which actually fits a lot better in this series if you think of it. And then we ended up with two meters that were the 110. And here we have twice the 110 side by side. And maybe the specifications are the same. We can have a look later at them. But just let's look at the buttons itself or at the dial. I see here capacitor. I don't see that here. I see a diet mode. So it's even less luxurious. And I see even frequency here that this one doesn't have. So the old 110 actually has more options. And then I was browsing a little bit eBay, a little bit AliExpress, just to find if there are new models that I don't have or not have seen. Of course, I cannot buy everything, but then I collect the pictures. And to my surprise, what happened? There also is a 110 plus. So here we have the old 110, the new 110, and the 110 plus. And like the other 110s, it also doesn't have current. And if we put here the 115, the 115 does have current. So it sort of fits in between here. And I think the highest model without the current is probably the 114. So let's put them all together. So when we first have a look at the old 110 and the new 110, you see the 2000 and the 2006 version, you can see that the DC voltage is slightly better accuracy, but also we have millivolts for AC and for the AC, which is missing in the old 110. We see that the resistance is the same, but it has extra here, the capacitors and the diodes. Both have a continuity test and the old 110 doesn't have backlight. 
why wouldn't you want them thus and what about the 110 plus and the 114 well I put the specifications that I could find side by side and I really don't see any difference nothing options nothing accuracies nothing well then I thought okay I bought it in China is there maybe something weird because it is exactly the same is it maybe only available in China is maybe a 114 114 is that maybe an unlucky number are they not allowed to use a 4 in the serial number and they decided to call it a 110 plus who knows maybe you know leave it in the comments and here we have them all three side by side the 110 the 110 and the 110 plus and the 110 plus actually has different firmware because it doesn't say 114 it actually says 110p from plus so maybe there is something there with this number so in another fluke friday i will continue with the whole uh, 110 series the old because we already have seen the 111 and the sears model but we still need to have a closer look here at uh, the 112 and the 110 and uh, also it needs to be restored this one is uh, dirty some scratches in the screen and then we can also compare the insides of them and then in another series we will also have a look at a newer 110 and also what the difference is and maybe we can find some differences when it comes from China and when it comes from Europe uh, when I look here at the markings on the stand it's all the same but I think I see here some CE and TOOF which I don't see in the others but we will have a closer look when this series comes and when you think all the fluke look alike well I found some key sites that also look alike so that's it the fluke 110 the fluke 110 and the fluke 110 plus <laughs> thank you for watching and I hope to see you next time